Hi, Gumdrops. It's Robin here. So thank you so much for joining me for your daily spirit message reading for Monday, August 7th. I'm using the Witch's Tarot deck. So I'll just shuffle this out while I just give you guys a recap <laughs> of my intention as a card flew out of the deck and I absolutely love that. So I'm channeling messages from my spirit guides for the collective. So it just, whatever your zodiac sign is, it whatever you got going on, if you're here, hopefully there's something for you. So we do have the Knight of Swords, okay? So we do see some dark clouds there. So <clears throat> here's the message that I'm getting for you. Uh, especially for those of you that could be waking up a little bit, um, maybe not on the sunny side of life, okay? Um, just want you guys to be making sure that you're doing your energy protections before going to bed, okay? Because, and I was having a discussion on Twitter with somebody a couple weeks ago about having really vivid dreams and maybe not the most comfortable dreams. And actually, um, I saw like a, a demon-like thing sort of snapping at me. <laughs> it was really disconcerting. So I called in Archangel Michael to dispatch that demon. Um, so if you're not really recognizing what is going on, there could be some, you know, some, some crazy things going on because, you know, you, your body is sleeping, but your brain isn't, your subconscious mind is still traveling around. So I'm seeing that with this particular Knight of swords here, you could be going into battle mode at night, especially if you're waking up kind of tired and miserable and, you know, cranky and, um, let's see what else is going on here. Okay. So we do have the 10 of cups. So this is quite interesting. So you can really flip the script and I'm going to write that down. Hold on. All right, so I feel like there's just a better way of, of living, okay? Um, especially if you are feeling really drained. We got the 10 of cups here. So you could be waking up um, in a different mode, like really appreciating the opportunity to start your life fresh every morning or like tired and cranky. And if you are feeling exhausted, I honestly just am getting the vibration that it has nothing to do with your daily grind. And angel number 222 just rolled by. You know, it's got less to do with the amount of responsibilities that you have, your job, you know, the people in your life. It's got more to do with what is happening in your dream state, okay? So we do have the two of cups here. So I'm, I'm really feeling that there is an angel that is a water sign, okay? Because we've got two cards with the cups and you do have a really strong relationship with this angel, I think it's Archangel Gabriel that represents water, but I'm not 100% sure. So please do me a favor before you go to bed tonight um, and do yourself a favor. It's not just for me. Obviously, it's not for me at all. But anyway, I digress. Check out whatever Archangel is represented by water and has the symbol of the chalice. And I do believe it's Archangel Gabriel, but again, I could be wrong, okay? Because he's here to protect you as you enter your dream state. And lately, I do believe that the collective really needs protection, angel number 333, as we enter the dream state, because we've got the two of swords here. And it's just, you don't want to be fighting battles in your sleep. This is where you need to be regenerating and rejuvenating and resting yourself. The two of swords is like all over the place. So you could be actually being torn into multiple dimensions in your dream state and then coming back into your body. And how many of you have been waking up before your alarm clock goes off? Okay, so there's reasons for that and it's not occurring in your daytime life. And I'm gonna go before I, I start croaking. So guys, <laughs> have a great day ahead, bye.